Hello there, welcome back to the channel. First of all, sorry the bench is a mess. I'm in mid-flow of rebuilding one of my quads. In this video, I want to talk about flight controllers and specifically the Eagle Tree Vector. To give some history on this, um, I was building a 250 quad last year and I was after a flight controller that had decent GPS support specifically. Um, now, many people will be sitting there saying, why the hell do you want GPS on a 250? You're probably right. However, for this aircraft I was building at the time, I sort of wanted to build just a bit of an FPV bird, a really small one, but I wanted some of the fail-safe features that you do get with a GPS-enabled flight controller. So I wanted return to home, position hold, and altitude hold. Now, while the other flight controllers out there have some of these features, like say the Nase 32s, the CC3Ds, the F3s and all of them, none of them really have the level of GPS support that the Vector does. The Vector is an entirely in-house system by Eagle Tree Systems. They write the entire software for it. They have a really nice user interface on the PC. It has an integrated color OSD, but you can also change all of the settings on the flight controller via that OSD as well. So it is really, really good. So originally they had the Vector, which is this flight controller here. Um, with it, you have the option of connecting up the GPS module, which is the dual band GPS module, which is that one there. It also supports a lot of other sensors, like um, an alerter, which Eagle Tree make as well, which will give you visual and audible indications of what's going on with your aircraft but it'll also allow you to set like a model lost alarm if it loses signal and things like that and it also supports the dedicated eagle tree power module now this one's in tape because it's had a little bit of a modification for the wiring um, but the power module allows the vector to receive current draw milliamp hour used voltage directly from the pack and display that on the inbuilt OSD. So it gives you a complete package. The, the big advantage really to the Vector over a lot of the other controllers for me was was the whole integrated Eagle Tree system because it's not just that. They also have a whole host of other sensors that are supported as part of the Vector and they're all available on the Eagle Tree website. Now I've had that in my mini quad for about 12, 18 months and it's flown really well. The only real issue with the Vector was it was never designed to go into small quad frames or small aircraft frames because the Vector also supports a lot of fixed wing configurations and it, it's a really good controller for that as well. Um, but yeah, because of its size it was never really designed for going into you know, 250 and below size quads. So what Eagle Tree have done is they've come up with what they call the micro vector. And this is it here. So still based on the usual vector, supports all of the same things that the vector does. So it still supports the GPS. It still supports the power module, the external sensors, but they've produced it in a much smaller package. In fact, they've it's actually stackable. It's the usual four post stackable size that fits any normal quad it fully supports so it comes in it plastic hard case like that for mounting that way but if you remove the four screws on the back you can pop the flight controller out and directly mount it in a post configuration just as you would any of the other usual race flight controllers now with the vector it has all of the other features which none of the others do so as i said it has the color OSD. It supports Skygates. Skygates is a virtual race course in the sky which is put into the OSD. I'm not going to go into too much depth on that but go on YouTube and have a look for Skygates. It's a really cool feature that Eagle Tree have implemented. Um, it supports SBUS, PPM and Spectrum Satellite input on the receivers. It's it supports full return to home features as part of the GPS. So whereas on like and the smaller flight controllers say the f3 ones on beta flight they do support gps but they do not have the level of integration that the eagle tree does it really will behave a lot like the dji flight controllers so it has return to home you can set the return to home height the speed whether the aircraft wants to point to the home point or not 
If you're using fixed wing, you can tell it that upon loss of control to bring the aircraft back to the to the takeoff point, and it will just circle above. So it really does have a whole host of features. So what I'm going to be doing with the micro vector, I'm going to be putting that into my 250 mini quad where the vector was. I'm in the middle of completely stripping it down and rebuilding it. It's all a bit of a mess at the moment. Um, we're using the new DYS ESCs, which are the XS20As. So I'm going to be using them with BHLE. Um, and that's it, really. I'm going to do a second part of this video where I'm going to talk about the program features of the Vector. So I'm going to walk through the software just to give you an idea of the level of settings and control you have. But really, that's it for this half of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon.